Thursday until the start of December. I'm afraid non-essential shops, leisure and entertainment venues will all be closed. There is no alternative. I'm under no illusions about how difficult this will be for businesses which have already had to endure such hardship this year. And I'm Cheers Boris, thanks very much. So we're in lockdown, that means charity shops shut, auctions shut, everything shut, boot sales are now finished anyway, so that's one good thing to take from this. Just wanted to say, do not panic. Remember, it's not just charity shops, it's not just auctions, it's not just boot sales. Uh, reselling is wherever you can get the stuff from, you get Jeep, you sell it online. So it's time to use our initiative. I got caught out the first time, I'm not going to get caught out again. Luckily, I now have a nice backlog. Been working through the summer, stocking up, ready for winter or lockdown part two, like we have got now. So I am okay. Let's hope it doesn't go on longer than November, but let's just say it is. You haven't got any stock, like George, I'm stuck. What am I gonna do for stock? Well, let's go through a few, shall we? Online arbitrage. Obviously, shops are gonna go online only. It's Christmas is coming up. People are gonna to wanna to start buying Christmas presents. I know a few family members have already. Hopefully, there's some companies that obviously they need to make up a lot of money. There's gonna be some stock sticking around from their shops. They might start clearing them out ready for the winter and Christmas season. So look up for special offers, look up discounted items and clearance sections especially. During lockdown part one, I found two or three different um, clearance sites which made me quite a bit of money. So obviously be prepared for that online arbitrage, just having to spend a bit more obviously because it's online, because it's brand new from a retailer. But then you're hoping to get that clearance stuff that they just want to get rid of that people still want. It's still in demand, even if you have to wait a couple of months or so, maybe next season. You just need stock, obviously, and that is one way of getting it. Online arbitrage, clearance, reduced items, uh, special offers, make the most of it. And with that, obviously Christmas coming up, shop shut, especially Smith's toy stores. There might be this Christmas must have toy. So maybe keep up to date with what the kids are up to trends online like with speak out that suddenly went boom the chewbacca mask suddenly there's a video that went boom so if you have got young kids like i have luckily i see them watch youtube i see these youtubers sort of promote things or use things they set trends maybe keep your finger on the pulse with that as soon as there's one thing that a youtuber does it suddenly blows up you can then strike in just keep on top of what the cool kids are on um hopefully something um blows up and with shops being shut the only way to get it is online facebook marketplace again as long as people are willing to do it most people are willing to do it boot sales are shut obviously charity shops now are shut they can't get rid of the stuff we still have thousands or hundreds of pounds worth of unwanted crap <laughs> we don't want anymore in our lofts in our spare rooms clearing that ready for Christmas. So Facebook, even Gumtree, check it out. People clearing stuff for free maybe. Maybe if you do get something for free, maybe offer a bit of money. Just obviously we're gonna make money, so it's only fair just to offer it. They might not take it, but the option's there. Board games, obviously hot at the moment with Amazon. If you can send them to Amazon, people might be clearing out old board games kids old toys I know we're doing it with our girls we're gonna go through our kids toys and that sell them on might even try them on eBay ourselves or on Facebook just to make a quick bit of money ready for our Christmas this year then with Facebook and Gumtree similar is eBay of course I've got a few things here to the side we've sorted out a few bits of the girls again like more game console stuff worth a bit more money but then people if it's worth a bit more like games consoles or higher end toys, robots or things, they might start as an auction and might not be willing to send it out. So look out for collection only, eBay, put in an offer or have a bid on an auction and hopefully you win it, pick it up locally or it gets posted to you. You can then turn it around, buy it now, send it out again, make some money. Or maybe don't go out looking for the stock, have the stock come to you, put out wanted posters or wanted adverts on Facebook again, coming back to Facebook, Gumtree. I am a business. I'm looking for this sort of stuff. Have you got that stuff? You can have a quick bit of money ready for Christmas. Put yourself out there. Don't be shy. Don't hide away in the shadows. Just say, yeah, I am a business. I'm looking for this. Do you have this? I'll give you money for it. Everyone's happy. Put yourself out there. Get the name spread around. Again, get more stuff in. Hopefully during this month to last you over. Speak with your fellow dealers, our fellow resellers. Again, during the first lockdown, 
I was a bit caught out. I didn't have a backlog. I was clear and ready for boot sales. I used this platform, YouTube. I used Instagram. Put the word out there. I'm looking for stuff. Has anyone got any stuff they want to get rid of quick? That happened two or three times, two or three different hauls I got. So I really appreciate that. It was a lifesaver. Different resellers, different dealers are in different situations. I had one where a reseller was moving house. They just needed to move the stuff on. I took it off them, they got money, I got the stuff, I made a lot of money as well. Again, everyone's happy, everyone in different situations. Just put the word out there. Okay, another important one, one that I need to do personally myself and something I did do previously, again during lockdown one. I have stock supposedly listed on eBay. That's not necessarily the case. Stuff for some reason drops off eBay, just vanishes out of thin air. I find most of the time that if someone buy something doesn't pay for it and then it gets relisted or supposed to be relisted it drops off all of a sudden i don't know why but you may have stock that you think's listed that isn't listed and obviously if you can go for it go through your inventory check that you've got everything you will find a couple if not a handful of items that aren't listed i think previously i had a hundred pound pair of football boots just sitting there i thought they were listed they weren't that then allowed me to create a new listing or relist it so there's new activity another 100 pound item i was just sitting there doing nothing so yeah a hot hot tip that's probably my number one tip do an infantry check this is the perfect month like a month it'll fly by hopefully it's a good time to organize everything out get yourself sorted out sort your aisles out sort your shelves out sort your inventory out sort your books out the bookkeeping the boring side get on top of that yeah just evaluate if you have got a death pile don't necessarily start going out doing online arbitrage don't do all that stuff maybe work through your stuff like here i don't know what i've spent on this stuff to the side of me but it's at least maybe three four five hundred pounds worth of inventory that i've bought myself so i've got five hundred pounds let's say of my money my business money just sat on a shelf doing nothing work for it again it's only a month touch wood so that's the perfect time to work through your death pile sort for it you've bought it for a reason you bought it to make money so while well, it's on there it's just gathering dust you don't necessarily have to go out sourcing at all your stuff's on your shelf sort your inventory you've got a death pile you bought that stuff you sunk your money into it get it on eBay, get it on Depop, get it on Amazon, turn it into that sweet, sweet money. Hopefully in December we'll come out of it again, clear that backlog, we've sorted out our inventory, we've sorted out everything, ready to hit next year hopefully, 2021. Have a good Christmas and yeah, hopefully start of a new year, start of things getting back to normal. So maybe you've got a backlog, maybe you've got some inventory coming in, you're not stressing, sales are coming in, but then there's the mental health side of it. We work alone, we sort of hunt alone picture alone sell alone yeah it is a lonely place especially with lockdown now you've got that added pressure so talk to the community join instagram hashtags like reseller community type pages interact in the comments section maybe start a youtube channel i know there's quite a few that started during lockdown one which is great to see start a youtube channel get talking talking things out uh, is probably one of the best ways to avoid like mental health issues feeling down feeling lonely I myself suffer from that sort of thing and YouTube and the community definitely helps with that well so that's not a problem either so you've got stock you've got a backlog you're in a good place mentally but maybe you're burning yourself out you worked all summer to catch up get all that stuff go to as many boots as you can as auctions as you can just doing everything we don't want to burn out that's probably another downside that I've done before I work 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 and then suddenly bosh nothing I do no listing picturing's a chore but now we've got another excuse to take some time off I done it last week with the girls while they were off half term just do a bit of work but then remember it's not all work life isn't about working spend time with your family that you're allowed to in your bubble or in your household to see them because normally when they're at school when we're at work we don't see them as much so it's time to appreciate family uh yeah just spend time with them they're not too bad actually when you get to know them. i think that's everything just a random video i wanted to come on sort of air things off my chest anyway help you out i know during lockdown one i got caught out and i was thankfully saved and i muddled my way through it and definitely in a better position now because i've got my backlog and everything just wanted to sort of put some feelers out there put some advice out there if you haven't got a backlog like i didn't the first time there are options and there's different things you can look at it like with the social side or see your family more have an organize hopefully it is just a month and then we're back on it uh going back to our charity shops going back to our auctions and then seeing into the new year and then boot sales will be back hopefully 
Also, I just want to put out there before I do go, if you are in a difficult situation, if you're feeling a bit down, need some advice, a bit stuck or anything, I'm always readily available. My contact details down below on Instagram, send me a message or in the comment section. Obviously, I have quite a busy comment section, so people are always nice down there most of the time. And I sift through my Facebook and Instagram comments and messages whenever I get a spare moment. I was here to give business advice, reselling advice, but I'm also here to help people out. If you have a sticky situation, you don't know where to turn, hit me up. If I get a spare moment, I'll help you out. Hopefully you see your way through it. All right, that's me done. I'm not sure what this video is gonna be called or what it's really about. Clearing my chest, helping you out, it's not the doom and gloom. Let's see our way through it. We'll get there on the other side. Thanks for watching. Good luck out there. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.